Just a quick note before we start the episode. This Dallas episode is based on Momo Gawi's Eric Smith series, season 1 episodes 15, 16 and 20, so please don't get mad at me. Some plot elements are different in this episode. I'm not trying to steal Momo's idea. I'm doing a parody of it. So that's all I have to say. Hey text wait for me. Oh my gosh no I died again. What's the matter mommy? Your longtime best friends Pat and Jack died. They were tragically murdered by someone. What? I already called the funeral home. The funeral will be on Saturday night at 5 o'clock. I can't live without my friends. On Saturday night. We are very sad that our son's best friends of all time have died. Soon, Aaron and Dallas will read their comments. When I was only seven. I will miss my friends. I will miss my children. I am supposed to be at John's sleepover right now. Not this place, cause it's so hot in here. And why am I wearing the stupid shirt on me? Jason, you better behave here. Or you're grounded for two weeks. And that shirt looks nice on you. These two kids were the best in the world. Dallas and I used to play with them a lot. I can't explain all what happened in the good old days. Dallas always played with them. And that's all I remember. Stop. Everyone stop. Jason, get back here now. I hated my brother so much. I am the reason why you're all here. I snuck into their room on Tuesday night, and you know what I did. I did it because I wanted to get on the news. Dallas, get off the stage. No. Then I will destroy you this way. <laughs> What happened? Where am I? There you are, Dallas. We are taking you to the car. We want to take you somewhere. Don't worry, you're not grounded. To the car. We are taking you to GameStop to buy a game for you. So you can take your mind off all this mayhem that happened back there. Thanks. That's a good idea. After they bought Super Mario 3D Land. This is way better than Pokemon. Come on, Dallas. We are going to the police office to see the interrogation of your school's bully, Jason. Coming, Daddy. Jason Xavier Ronaldson. You have spent three weeks in jail already. It's now time for your interrogation. Every answer from your mouth must be true. Let's begin. Question 1 of 5. Were you with anyone else during the time of the crime? No, officer. Very well. Question 2 of 5. We would like to hear if this is correct or incorrect. You committed the crime around 7.56 p.m. at Pat and Jack Ronaldson's house. Correct or incorrect? That is correct, officer. Question 3 of 5. Why did you do it? I did it because I wanted to get on the news. That was quite idiotic of you. Question 4 of 5. Do you have any reasons why you performed this horrible crime? No, I do not, officer. Okay. And last but not least, question 5 of 5. Were you on any illegal substances during the crime, like drugs or alcohol? No, officer. I never had drugs or alcohol, and I never will. Okay. Thank you for your time here and for behaving at this interrogation. You will stay at this jail for another two weeks. After that, your clock will stop ticking. What I mean is your execution day. Two weeks later. Jason, today is the day of your execution. Jason Ronaldson, you are charged guilty with first degree of double murder. 
Your penalty is electric chair. Do you have any last words to say before sentence is carried out? I am guilty. Very well. He's dead. I wonder what's on TV. You're watching GNN News. Oh boy. The news. A 17-year-old boy was executed about 30 minutes ago for first-degree double murder. He was executed by electric chair. I think I'm gonna sit back and watch. Hey Elizabeth, see who's at the door. No one there. Let me see. Oh boy. Someone left the baby on my driveway. I'm gonna take him inside. Oh how nice. A cute baby. Be sure to feed him. I found this note inside the blanket. It said, please give our baby Gregory a good home. A poor penniless couple. That's so sad. Did he just open his eyes? Mama. And he said his first word. Where is he going? Gregory, what are you doing? Put that egg back. Gregory, get out of. Hey, you, get off my computer. No. I changed the password. What did you say? I said I changed your password. Oh my goodness, how dare you do such a thing like that? Hurry, hurry, look at me, I'm swimming. What's going on in here? Oh my goodness, the whole place is flooded. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I'm gonna get rid of this pest if it's the last thing I do. In you go, Gregory. Bon voyage, Gregory. Now stay in there. Goodbye for good you little brat. He's gone for good. Well, that little brat is gone for good. I'm going to get one of our old movies. Oh my goodness. This can't be possible.
Excuse me, mister, but how much is this? A dollar. Very well. Now how much is this? Also a dollar. Okay. How much is this? A dollar. How much is this? A dollar. How much is this? A dollar. Okay. Last question. How much is this? A dollar. It is a dollar. Everything is a freaking dollar. A dollar. A dollar. A dollar. Now get out of the store before I call the police on you. Out. Fine. I'm going to a different dollar deals. Dallas Michael Pettish. Report to my office now. What did I do? First of all, I heard you were screaming at the top of your lungs at other customers about our prices here. It's not my fault. They are too stupid to know that every object here is a dollar, just a dollar. Dallas Michael Pettish, you had fought. Fine with me. No, 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 no. Hey, Uncle Diesel. What's that? It's a slingshot. What for? To go to the moon. Wanna come? Sure. <laughs> Let's go exploring. Look, I found the rock. Look what I found. What was that? Elizabeth, what are you doing? I'm eating cheese. Where did you get the cheese? From the moon. It's cheese. Um, Elizabeth, you're eating rocks. <laughs> what was that? It's the space monster. Let's go home. Hey Aaron, wanna go hang gliding? Sure. Now wouldn't it be funny if we crashed? Oh no. Hey Aaron. Where are we? Need a ladder. I'm going to look for some firewood. Hey Aaron, come here. What is that? I think it's a bucket. What are you doing in my sandbox? Wow. It sure was a long day today. I'm going to get some rest. Uh-oh. I think I'm feeling something. Uh-oh. Oh no. What's happening to me? Oh no. It's a black hole. Nah. Ooh. Oh no. What the heck is this? I wanna go home. This is crazy. I wonder where this vortex leads to. This place gives me nightmares. 
Hello. Oh my, what was that? I am the Vortex Devil. Oh my god. Vortex Devil. Why did you bring me here? Because I invaded your personal space. I'm gonna fight. What kind of power do you have? My powers are Sing, Curse, Ice Breath, and Black Fire. My health is over 9000. That's impossible. How can you be defeated? One extra power is Shield. Oh no. I'm gonna die. Do not worry my little friend. If you defeat me, I will let you live. But if I defeat you, you will stay in this vortex until you are 21. Okay. Why did you bring me here? Why did you want to bring me to this awful nightmare? Because I want to. That's so mean of you. I love doing it. Now I'm going to fight you. <laughs> you cannot defeat me. I have ruled this vortex for centuries. Ouch. That hurt. Good thing I have a crystal ball. Oh yeah? I know how to defend myself. That's it. I'm passed off now. I'm killed. Oh my god. I can't believe you ate my weapon. Good. Now that Vortex Devil is dead for good. Oh my god. I can't believe my crystal ball is destroyed. I will kill Alice once I get back to the Vortex. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.